This week on the Fin Chasers, we're southbound and down, all the way down to Guatemala, to Casa Vieja Lodge, the sailfish capital of the world. Joining me on this trip is my new best friend, Knox Cronenberg. My name's Knox Cronenberg. I'm 17 years old and I live in Austin, Texas. This young man is a member of the U.S. Youth Fly Fishing Team, a team that won gold in the world four times running. Knox is a passionate, excellent angler. Also joining me is Casa Vieja Lodge designer and previous owner, Jim Turner. Jim also owns Release Boat Works, some of the coolest boats in the world. Jim Turner is gonna coach Knox and I, and we couldn't ask for a better coach because Jim holds the world record for the most sailfish caught in one day. And that was 54, a 57 total for the boat in one day. I'm Captain Frank Crescitelli. I'm a charter boat captain, a tournament fisherman, and a lure designer. I own a tackle company and a fishing charter business in New York City for 15 years. In fishing, to prove you're the best in the world, you either have to win tournaments or break world records. And I'm ready to do that. I'm gonna use all my resources and all my connections to find the biggest fish in the world. People might think of fishing as fun and relaxing. The level we do it at, it might be fun, but it's far from relaxing. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Now is my turn to match my skills and my lures against the best in the world and see if I can come out on top. To say fishing is my life is an understatement. My life is fishing. I'm Captain Frank Crescitelli, and this is the Fin Chasers. The Fin Chasers is brought to you by Raymarine Electronics. Not only is this place beautiful, but the amount of fish that you see on a daily basis, for me, rivals nothing in the world. I've fished a lot of places, but no place has ever given me the opportunity for billfish that I've gotten here fishing out of Casa Vieja in Guatemala. And it was pretty cool for me to finally go to a place that lived up to the hype. So when I got the call and was told that we tied the knot and we were gonna end up going to Guatemala, I instantly just started looking up stuff about where we were going because to be honest, I had no idea what to expect. I was amazed, I was stunned because all the fly fishing I've heard of for sailfish is you can catch one maybe in a blue moon. Like once in a blue moon you get a sailfish to eat a fly. But here, Jim Turner, who has the world record for most fish in a day, caught 54 sailfish in one day on a fly rod, which honestly when I read that kind of blew my mind. Our captains here in Guatemala rack up numbers that are just unheard of. We average 15 fish a day. We have captains that have caught 30,000 billfish. Chris Sheeter was the first captain to catch 25,000 billfish, and the breakdown of that was 1,000 blue marlin, and 5,000 of those billfish were caught on a fly. Nobody's done that before. I thought maybe because there's been so many marlin around, and we got the sailfish on fly out of the way the first day that we tried, it was time to go for the billfish royal slam. For everybody else in the world, the billfish royal slam is nine billfish in your lifetime. The fin chaser style is to try and get nine billfish in one year. I'm really relishing the opportunity to take a shot to catch a Pacific blue marlin. That coupled with my Pacific sailfish will give me two fish on my quest to the billfish royal slam. Knox is joining me on this quest and we are trying to catch up to my very good friend, Wade Boggs who's quite a bit ahead of me on the quest for his billfish slam. So it'll be a lot of fun to fish with Wade, and maybe he can finish his up while I put a few more notches in my belt. It's been a lot of fun here, and I can't wait to see what our last day of fishing is gonna bring.
don't just go fishing, go hunting underwater. With Ray Marine's superior high fidelity chirp sonar vision, you'll never look at fishing the same again. You're already the predator above the water. Now go find your prey below it. Ray Marine. Visit raymarine.com to get in on the action. Every angler knows you can't hook a fish if they don't bite and can't land them if they don't stay hooked. Guide Secret Lures, hand-painted, through-wired VMC hooks. Professionals in every field use the best tools available. When I'm not cooking, I'm out fishing. And when I'm out fishing, I'm using Guide Secret. Guide Secret, professional-grade fishing gear. Designed, built, and tested by the pros. Hi, I'm Hall of Famer Wade Boggs. When I want to hit a home run when I'm fishing, I use Guide Secret. Countless hours spent chasing dreams and forging memories. It's a passion that runs as deep as any ocean and as long as any river. We've all had mentors and we still have heroes. They spent the time with us to pass it on. Now it's our turn. When you hear the name Buddy Davis, you may think of express and sport fishing boats. But that's not all there is. Buddy Davis Center consoles are custom built, one at a time, with the same Carolina flair and tumble home stern that identify a Buddy Davis. Available in 28 and 34 feet and coming soon, a 42 center console. Check them out at dnrboats.com. DNR Boats, New Jersey's leading deal. This segment brought to you by Cortland Line. The cool thing about being in a place like Casa Vieja where you get a lot of bites in one day is that you could have a little fun to try and switch it up a little bit. The one thing I wanted to do was to get a sailfish on a spinning rod. A fish came into the spread, hot. The crew did its thing and teased it right to the boat. I pitched, I waited a little longer than maybe I should have because I got chided for not waiting long enough the day before. So I waited and waited. When he was burning lime, I flipped that bail and it was rock and roll, baby. Great fight, a lot of fun, but I still, in the back of my mind, wanted to catch that blue ball. One thing we didn't see a lot of on this trip, although they're pretty regular guests at the lodge, was mahi. So when the first fish got called out, and it was a mahi, I was jacked. And I wanted to get one on a spinning rod. So I had the van stall with the TFO ready. I flipped it out there. The fish ate, and man, it was off to the races. This mahi screamed across the spread, and we put a pitch bait back here and he ate it. Nice mahi, we haven't seen many at all. But this is the second one we've seen today. There was just two in the spread, so really three. The cool thing about mahi fishing, if you've ever had the opportunity to do it, is that most of the time, there's more than one around. And if you're able to hook one, 
When you're reeling it in, keep your eyes peeled to the water because there's usually another one with it. And if you're ready, you can make a cast and have a double hookup. Today, even though the first mahi was very cooperative, the one that was with it didn't want anything to do with anything that we threw to it. There he goes. He did turn on it for a second, then he's gone. Jim, get the pitch bait. Get the mucho minnow. He'll eat that bait like crazy. That little, get the spinning rod over there, the hard bait. He'll eat the shit of that, the little one, piccolo, pico. Yeah, come from behind me. Come from behind me and cast in. Go ahead. Now watch what happens to that plug. Go ahead, twitch, twitch. Rod tip down, twitch it, twitch it. Twitch it, you're behind the fish. You gotta throw ahead of the fish, Jim. Throw up ahead here. Quickly. Yep, twitch it, twitch it. Real, twitch. Twitch it. Twitch. Oh, you gotta get ahead of it more. You gotta come tight right away. So we had caught sailfish on the fly, we caught mahi on the spinning rod, we caught sailfish on the spinning rod, and now it was time for Mr. Blue. So we waited and waited and waited. And after I had messed up the day before, I knew the pressure was on to make sure that I fed that fish for just the right amount of time, and I did not mess up. This segment brought to you by The Fisherman Magazine. Don't just go fishing, go hunting underwater. With Ray Marine Superior High Fidelity Chirp Sonar Vision, you'll never look at fishing the same again. You're already the predator above the water. Now go find your prey below it. Ray Marine. Visit raymarine.com to get in on the action. There's nothing else like it. The people. The places. The fishing of the Northeast. Subscribe to the only magazine that's been covering fishing here every week for 50 years. You'll make discoveries. You learn. You'll see the action. You'll catch more fish. Subscribe to The Fisherman. 29 bucks gets you 38 issues a year and 12 months of premium access to thefisherman.com. Subscribe today. Water for me is a backdrop to tell a, a, a story about a family and tell a story about individuals finding love and finding redemption uh, in their lives together. Bob Rich's new book, Looking Through Water, is a multi-generational story about fishing, family, and life. All proceeds go to Project Healing Waters, helping to meet the needs of injured veterans. Available at Amazon and barnesandnoble.com. Countless hours spent chasing dreams and forging memories. It's a passion that runs as deep as any ocean and as long as any river. We've all had mentors and we still have heroes. They spent the time with us to pass it on. Now it's our turn. As close as you're gonna get to a sure thing for catching billfish is Casa Vieja Lodge. They're here, man. This has been a 20 year run, buddy. These things haven't left, there's no cycle. When it comes to sailfish, and this is the real deal. sailfish here is ridiculous. The Fin Chasers has been brought to you by DNR Boat World. Got the opportunity to come here 
listening years ago from Jim Turner through uh, Ronnie Hamlin, who was kind of the pioneer of fishing here. Um, I usually start fishing in October and November. And I'll stay through May and June. Then during the summer and early fall, I, I uh, fish other places around the world. Uh, spent a lot of time in the Canary Islands, Madeira, Azor Islands the past few years. Uh, the Caribbean as well. Uh, come back to Guatemala year after year just because of the number of fish we see and the ocean that we fish in is you know, usually generally pretty calm here every day. Uh, weather's pretty stable throughout the winter. Warm, flat seas, a lot of fish. Uh, some years we see a lot of marlin. Uh, so far this this year we're Average is seeing more than one one blue marlin a day every day we fish. Uh, it might be closer to two, but generally there, there's, we see enough sailfish every day that we get a lot of opportunities. It makes them, makes uh, makes it good for fishing the fly, which a lot of guys come down here to do. Over the past nine seasons here, I believe caught north of 12,000 sailfish. The amount of fish we see every day here, sailfish and marlin, attracts the, the guys who want to catch some fish on the fly. Uh, the aggressiveness of the fish makes them easy to tease up and, and cast to. My left long teaser is a, a purple and black islander with a ballyhoo behind it. My left teaser, my left bridge teaser is a black bark braziliano that we use to raise the marlin. My right teaser is a Pakula rat. And my right long teaser is a Seidu Calcutta. There we go. Got a bite. Both, left teaser, left teaser! Get it up, Frank, get it up some. Stop, right there, stop. I don't see him. He can't be too far. He ate you, Frank, he's trying to eat you. Well, he's coming back on you. I knew this was probably my last chance. It was late in the day, on our last day at the lodge. This was probably the last fish that we were gonna see. And when that fish came up, it was a nerve-wracking experience. But I was psyched to get this fish. Lock it up and reel. Got him? Yeah! Right, left short, left short. fish came up, it hit the teaser, I grabbed the rod, pitched the bait in, and that thing munched it. And it was smoking. Gave it enough time to eat, pushed that lever up, and then, man, that thing just freight trained straight across. It must have done 20 consecutive jumps. And it was one of the most thrilling things that I have ever felt in my lifetime. And that's the great thing about fishing for me is that no matter how many fish I caught in so many different places, when you see a majestic animal like that, one of the biggest, baddest fish in the sea, come up and you feed a bait to it 20 feet off the back of the boat, there's, there's few things in the world that give you, certainly give me, that level of excitement and enjoyment. Short strokes, short strokes, one turn every time. Time, Frank. It was hard for my 10-year-old little girl, too. <laughs> she was in better shape than I am. <laughs> Feels like it's just, you know, it's in a thermocline down there. It doesn't want to contend that.
When you hear the name Buddy Davis, you may think of express and sport fishing boats. But that's not all there is. Buddy Davis Center consoles are custom built, one at a time, with the same Carolina flair and tumble home stern that identify a Buddy Davis. Available in 28 and 34 feet, and coming soon, a 42 center console. Check them out at dnrboats.com. DNR Boats, New Jersey's leading deal. Don't just go fishing, go hunting underwater. With Ray Marine Superior High Fidelity Chirp Sonar Vision, you'll never look at fishing the same again. You're already the predator above the water. Now go find your prey below it. Ray Marine. Visit raymarine.com to get in on the action. Countless hours spent chasing dreams and forging memories. It's a passion that runs as deep as any ocean and as long as any river. We've all had mentors and we still have heroes. They spent the time with us to pass it on. Now it's our turn. There's nothing else like it. The people, the places, the fishing of the Northeast. Subscribe to the only magazine that's been covering fishing here every week for 50 years. You'll make discoveries. You learn, you'll see the action. You'll catch more fish. Subscribe to The Fisherman. 29 bucks gets you 38 issues a year and 12 months of premium access to thefisherman.com. Subscribe today. As close as you're gonna get to a sure thing for catching billfish is Casa Vieja Lodge. They're here, man. This has been a 20 year run, buddy. These things haven't left, there's no cycle. See, when it comes to sail fishing, this is the real deal. of sailfish here is ridiculous. This segment of the Fin Chasers brought to you by Bob Rich and his new book, Looking Through Water. And once we had that fish boat side after a very long fight, longer than I thought it would take anyway, it was time to do the one thing that you're supposed to do every time you catch the first species of that particular billfish, and you gotta go swimming. So I grabbed the Intova camera, I jumped in the water, and I did the release from inside the water. Held on to the tail of this fish and just watched it swim away. It was incredible. I went more than the mullet. I love you, fat boy. I love you, fat boy. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot, brother. That's a hard one. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, nice work staying with it, Cap. So, as our time at Casa Vieja Lodge comes to an end, it was a great success. Our first sailfish on fly for Knox and myself, sailfish on spinning gear, mahi on spinning gear, a Pacific blue mullin. So if you add them up, we had a Pacific sail and a Pacific blue mullin on our way to our Billfish Royal Slam. 
No better place in the world to start it than Casa Vieja Lodge. And I'm sure that we'll be back here again. As our time at Casa Vieja Lodge comes to an end, so does season one of the Fin Chasers. I feel really fortunate to have fished with some of the best captains and crews in the world and to have my friends join me on the quest for some world records and to participate in some tournaments. We got a couple of wins under our belts, a few world records, and we had a lot of fun along the way. Our travels took us from New York City down to Guatemala and a lot of places in between. I got to fish with my good friend Wade Boggs and get his wife Debbie a few world records and I'm really excited because when I get home, I got a brand new Buddy Davis waiting for me. We're gonna load that baby up and hit the road and do it all over again. So we hope that you join us on season two of the Fin Chasers as we head out on the quest for another world record and to win another tournament. Telly, and this is the Fin Chasers. A very special thanks to Casa Vieja Lodge, the sailfish capital of the world.